Alice Cooper and his brand new single, Freedom, featuring the strongest guitarist in the world, by the way. Kane listening. Roberts, yeah, he's a monster. You know, he's really, you know, sometimes I tell him, you know, just go out and move the hotel over to the left a little bit. <laughs> he's, he's really good. He's one of the best guitarists I've ever worked with. Probably the best guitarist I've ever worked with. Sure, yeah, sure. he's great. Alice, one of the first, when I think back to the, the earliest Alice Cooper records that I had, I'm thinking of stuff now like School's Out, No More Mr. Nice Guy, and so forth. It's, it's 15 years 18 ago. 18 years. 18 years? Yes. Over all that time, is there a particular period in your career which you look back on with particular fondness? Well, the first time we came to England, it was great because they banned us here. It was great. Uh, I forget what the lady's name was. Mary, You'll remember. Mary yeah. Whitehouse? That's right, yeah. yeah. She's a fan of this show. Oh, yeah, she watches all the time. Oh, yeah. Hi, Mary. Hi. Anyway, and, uh, she, and it was great because, I mean, they banned us, and I don't think anybody had ever seen us, but just the reputation, you know, was, was great. It was, it was great. And the people of England, you know, really banned it again with, with us, you know, yeah, and right. said, how dare you tell the people they can't watch Alice Cooper. So it was really great. I've always had a fondness for the, the, the public of England for doing that. What, a, what about in America? I mean, we keep hearing about all these people, all these mad people in America. Like the Jimmy's. Washington Wives. Yeah, the Washington Wives. It's a good name for a band, I think, the Washington Wives, <laughs> you know. They are, uh, PMRC, that song was pretty much dedicated to them. You really? Know? Yeah, it's, it's sort of funny. They, they start out with the premise that all kids are created stupid. Yeah. You know, uh, I don't particularly believe that. Yeah. Uh, my audience, you know, I think they understand the satire and what I do, and they understand a lot of, you know, a lot more than their parents do. Sure. So I would trust a kid much more than a parent when it comes to rock and roll. Absolutely. I mean, who yeah. runs around with big smiles on their faces, innocent? That's yeah. children, right? Yeah, that's right. Who walks around bitter and twisted? And... That's right, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. If there's any devil worship, I'm sure it's in the Congress rather than <laughs> rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> very well put. Now, listen, we've got a competition, a very groovy competition, because we've got three of these videos, Alice Cooper videos, Welcome to My Nightmare. This was recorded live when Alice was on stage back in, I think, 1975. Yeah. yeah. Right, it's got 13 tracks, including Welcome to My Nightmare, No More Mr. Nice Guy, The Black Widow, Only Women Bleed, and on and on and on. But if you want to win one of these, what have you got to do? Well, you've got to answer this incredibly simple question, which Alice is going to put for you right now. What's to name any one of my snakes, any one of them. Any one. Uh, there's been nine snakes now, so any one of the names. And I'm sure they're tattooed deer close to your heart. <laughs> <laughs> so this should be easy. Just open your shirt and look. It'll be uh, down there. Right, exactly. So if you do want to win one of these, it's very, very simple. If you want to win an Alice Cooper Welcome to My Nightmare video, and we've got three to give away, name for us one of Alice's snakes. Now, even I know a couple of names there, so you should be able to name plenty. We'll give you the address later on in the show. And in the meantime, we'll give It's better you... looking now than I was then, I'll tell you. <laughs> Must have been something I drank. Do you feel weird when you see old clips like that? Does it make I, you feel I, weird? That's the first time I've seen that in years. Really? Yeah. Does it bring back yeah. any memories? Or? Yeah, well, I, I just trying to remember where that show was. It could have been anywhere, but it's probably just Detroit, I would imagine. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Brings back a lot of memories for me as well, actually, because when, I, when, when schools out and elected and all that stuff was, were being hits in Britain, I was a huge Alice Cooper fan. <laughs> and I remember going to a party and like getting a felt pen and like drawing on the eyes <laughs> and, and this. And I swear, I walked through the door and every girl in the place was like, jump. <laughs> even, even if they hated it, they were like, do you, do you find, is that why you wear your... Oh, yeah, actually, yeah. That's, that's exactly why I wear it, you know. So many people mistake me for Robert Redford on the street <laughs> that I, I wear this makeup like this just to ward them off. You know, it's amazing. <laughs> but felt pens don't come off. You no, have to I, remember that. I know. It took about three days later. I was like, ah, ah, ah. Yeah, yeah. really, that's, that's a hard way to do it. <laughs> All right, Alice, listen, it's been lovely having you on the show. Lots of yes, luck with your tour you. when it kicks off. Yeah. I shall be there in London. It's going to be it's going to be totally vicious. It's uh, it's my I'm so proud of it. It's just blood everywhere. It's great. If you're in the first 20 rows, bring an umbrella. I would wear something that goes well with red. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we definitely look forward to that. Okay, Mr. Alice Cooper. Let's have some more music now. This is a band that's just been out supporting Alice